Belize right now. Belize, two trips to Christmas Island, three trips to Cuba, two trips to Canada. I can't remember what else. It's prob I'm sure there's something else, but this is the first episode of 2022 for the Gig Harbor Fly Show, and we are going to kick it off with talking about steelhead, guided trips, lake fishing, current fishing reports, and what we're looking forward to next month. First is the big news around steelhead. We know that steelhead have been in a rough spot for at least a year or two, but this year seems to be at an all-time low with many rivers closed out on the Washington coast. Uh, we have famous rivers, part of the Chehalis system, like the Sats of the Wainuchi, the Hump, all sorts of good stuff that is closed down, no fishing this year. And it only leaves some rivers open on the west end of the Olympic Peninsula Thinking about the whole state of steelhead has been uh, conflicting for sure. And uh, and I even thought about, man, uh, maybe I shouldn't even be guiding. Uh, and so I did decide to guide this year, but I'm going to change it up a little bit this year. And I wanted to share a little bit what I'm doing for steelhead trips. We're going to charge an extra $100 conservation fee that we are going to then give to the Wild Steelhead Coalition. Some good friends that are doing great work uh, around steelhead conservation and really trying to help save our state fish. In, in addition to that, I'm also not going to guide in March. It's just going to be in February for a few weeks, end of January as well. If you haven't booked yet, we've got a couple spots left open. Hope you can jump on. Uh, one of the things about our trips is that they're swing only. They're only spay casting. And so um, we generally encounter fewer fish when we're spay casting. It's really hard to present a fly well to a steelhead on the swung fly. It's a lot of fun. It's the best way you can catch one. But uh, to limit our impact on fish, it definitely, it definitely does that. And so there's been a lot of talk in the industry about uh, one and done, catching one fish and being done for the day. And swinging flies for steelhead, yeah, that's, that's, it's like one and celebration. <laughs> so, so that's kind of the scoop on what's going on with Steelhead for us this next month. With COVID cases really high in our area, we've shut down our fly tying stuff for the month of January, but we're really excited to kick those off in February. And so every other week we do the fly tying bar. You can see the schedule online. I know that we're gonna be doing the gurgler here pretty soon. And you can sign up for those uh, on our website. We limit it to six people per session and the first beers included. Our women's angling program's Tipsy Tires is also tying on uh, every other Thursday night in February. And those are also listed online and, and women, you can sign up for those and reserve your spot as well. Now I know Steelhead gets a lot of press during the winter time, but there's a lot of other cool fishing to be done if you're willing to brave the elements. And so there's some great saltwater fishing to be had as well as lake fishing. I've been really getting a kick out of doing some lake fishing and we've been fishing just local stuff recently and we've been finding some fish. Fish are feeding more on chronomids and so we've been fishing with an indicator set with uh, two a two fly set up and we've been fishing those flies in about six to 10 feet of water and trying to fish them just maybe uh, a foot or a foot and a half off the bottom. Uh, and as soon as you see that indicator twitch, set the hook. It doesn't have to be lightning fast, uh, like maybe river fishing, because the fish seem in the winter to grab it a little bit slower, but, uh, but it's been a fun way to get out when some of this weather has been somewhat decent. We'd love to teach you lake fishing if you've never done it before. We have a lake clinic coming up in March, and I highly suggest that. Aaron does a great job with that. We also offer guided trips. We only do half day trips this time of year, and, uh, and so those are available on the website as well. Now this time of year for Puget Sound Cutthroat, a lot of people think that they're spawning and there's not any fish out in the sound. There are still some fish out there, but fishing generally tends to be slower this time of year. A lot of times we will shift our focus to fishing for resident coho and they're just juvenile, uh, juvenile salmon that are trout sized. So they're like 10 to 16 inches and they're a lot of fun. A lot of times it's sight fishing where you see the pot of fish or you see them rising and we'll fish a lot of small krill patterns. I'll put a link up here for some of our flies that we're fishing uh, this time of the year. Uh, but small stuff, floating lines are fine, nine foot leaders, great. Intermediate lines are fine too. Uh, a lot of white and pink, uh, light shrimpy orange, great colors, and uh, they can be a lot of fun. We offer guided trips in the saltwater this time of year as well. So cutthroat or resident coho, we'd love to take you out kayak fishing or off the beach and go chase some of these fish. Next month, February, can't believe it's coming up already. And uh, we're really excited because the new spring season for Patagonia comes out in February and there's some really cool stuff that's coming out. We're also excited because our fly fishing film tour tickets at the Blue Mouse Theater in Tacoma go on sale this next month. 
And so we're excited about that on March 24th. You don't wanna miss out, get your tickets, it does sell out. We've been hosting this for about a dozen years, it's a great time. Lastly, I'm also really excited about February because hopefully I'm going, going to Belize with my family. Definitely will be taking some video, get to do some fishing, and hopefully I'll have a report for you soon. That's it for the Gig Harbor Fly Show for this month. Uh, check out our channel and subscribe. We have a lot of other videos coming out, but we'll be putting these updates out every month, and so we wanna make sure that you get them. Hey, if this video was super helpful in regards to fishing reports and all that kind of fun information, what's no going on with us at the Gig Harbor Fly Shop, make sure you subscribe so you get all the updates that we have coming out, and give it a thumbs up too. Thanks. <laughs> so, so good. Jack's like asking questions about the other side of the lake, and I'm like, I'm like looking at his fly. I'm like, dude, you have a fish. And he's like not even looking at it at all.